Hi, my name is Jim Steele, and I'm going to narrate this flight uh, that I've made a video of. Uh, this was a flight from Nebo. Mark Stump had launched first. I launched second. There is the east face of Nebo with uh, three gliders still sitting down there. Uh, there's Nebo from close to cloud base. There's a shot of the clouds out in front of the mountain. They look pretty good. It was it was a pretty pretty good day, all things considered. Uh, we've not really had any good days this year, but there's Chickalaw Ridge. Uh, here's a Google Earth shot. This shows uh, my the yellow track log is mine, uh, and that shows uh, leaving Nebo, uh, getting across the Harkey Valley, and then starting down the ridge. Uh, there's uh, Spring Lake, and I'm low here. I'm uh, terribly low. I, I thought I was going to have to land. I had actually flown off the ridge and started out over over these fields that we're about to look at. Uh, getting close to setting up an approach, actually, I, I got so low. But uh, I hooked one, uh, luckily, took me back to cloud base, and here I am. There's Nebo in the background. Uh, this is probably slightly over 5,000 feet here. I think cloud base at this point was 5,400 feet. Um, so it sure felt good to get back up. I thought my flight was probably about over with there, but I got lucky and found something. Uh, there's Blue Mountain Lake off in the distance. That high point is MAG. Here's another Google Earth shot showing this segment of the flight. You can see my track log there just running down Chickalaw Ridge. Uh, there's uh, there's Spring Lake, um, and uh, here's some footage. I finally caught up with Mark. Uh, he was out in front of me a little bit, and he's thermaling off to the north of me. You can see how wooded that area is that, that we're looking at there. Uh, you know, there's nowhere to land in there. So we have to stay out south of that area. Uh, there's another nice shot of it. Uh, Mark's going on glide there. I'm still trying to squeeze out a little bit of altitude out of the thermal I'm in. Uh, there's looking back, there's Spring Lake and the valley. There's Woodson's at the bottom of the field. It's a grass airstrip. Great place to land if you need to. And that's looking west again. And here we are. There's Mark on glide in the in the left hand side of the screen. I'm sorry, right hand side of the screen there. Uh, he's gliding toward Mag. The high point there is Magazine. Here's some nice footage. Uh, this was taken. Uh, we were past Havana. There's Mark off my wingtip. We were uh, sort of out in front of the East End Overlook of Mag. Uh, We'll swing around here, and and you'll see it. Uh, there's there's Mag itself, and there's the East End Overlook at the bottom of the screen. Clouds are starting to thin out a little bit. It's getting on uh, into the later part of the afternoon now. There's uh, looking back toward Havana. It was around this time that. Uh, I think uh, the guys finally were able to get off at Nebo. Uh, I think Mike decided to just stay local there because it was so late. And Baron and Chris were blazing trying to catch us. And they they did a great job. They, they came up a little bit short from where we got, but we had a huge head start on them. This is all familiar country if you fly mag much. Uh, Blue Mountain Lake there. Mark's heading west. I guess he's not through thermaling here. Another look around, and I uh, think I'm going to swing up and catch Mark. He's above me now. He hooked a nice thermal here, and 
and uh, actually I think this was the last time I saw him until we were landing. Uh, he got a little higher here. Uh, we stayed in communication. We were close, but I never did spot him again until near landing. There's a Google Earth shot showing the track log for this segment of the flight. There's the mag launch, and there's Blue Mountain Lake. And there's Blue Mountain Lake in reality. And this is looking back east uh, the way we've come. There's Mag. And there's the town of Magazine. It's a small town on Highway 10. Flew right over it. Uh, the next town down the line was Boonville. And here I am flying toward Boonville, uh, straight over Highway 10. Downtown Boonville. And looking back at Boonville. Uh, here's Google Earth shot with the track log showing the last part of the flight. There's Boonville. And uh, there's the, the little lake that we used as a landmark and where we landed. And this is gliding in that direction. Uh, from Boonville on out, I was pretty much uh, just using up my altitude. I never hit anything much after that. There's the field that Mark and I both landed in. And here I am going on approach and about to land. Uh, it's a pretty good field. It's nice and level. I had just thrown a streamer and uh, it was it was light east so we both had good landings uh, the whole flight was like 30 uh, 46 miles uh, a little over three hours I'm gonna bring the audio back in here Mark uh, burning off his altitude. He could have gone farther. Uh, I don't know how far, but he definitely had enough altitude. He could have made a few more fields down, uh, and maybe even farther than that. But it's it's usually a lot of fun to land together too. Uh, so he decided to come back and land with me, setting up a nice approach here. Chris and Barron had made it to uh, the Boonville Airport, uh, which is just back up the road from where we're at here. Great flight. They really, uh, considering that they had to wait oh, probably close to two hours after we launched, they were they were making good time. And Mark is down. And that was it. Longest flight of the year from uh, uh, anywhere in Arkansas. Thanks for watching.